Welcome to Kids Fishing. Hi there and welcome to this episode of Kids Fishing. And today we're going to be looking at the Surgeon's Knot. And the Surgeon's Knot is a fantastic knot for beginners fishing. So let's take a closer look at the Surgeon's Knot. And this is a great knot to teach your children to tie because it's a very practical knot and it's relatively easy to learn as well. And the great thing about this knot, as you can see, is that it allows you to join different types of line together. So whether that's braid to nylon or braid to fluorocarbon or fluorocarbon to monofilament nylon or two different types of nylon. So it might be a thicker nylon and a thinner nylon and you want to join those together. This is a very versatile knot and it's relatively easy to learn. So the first thing we're going to do is have our two pieces of line overlap. So we've got the light blue leader and we have the dark blue main line. Now we overlap those and we have enough overlap to make it easy for us to tie the knot. So we want a little bit of line as working space on both sides. Now one of the considerations uh, for this is the thickness of the two lines that we're joining together and I'll talk about that in a minute. So the, the biggest step in creating this knot is to actually create a loop to start off with and the way we're going to do this and recommended way to teach children is to talk about creating a number six. So we've created a little loop and you can see it's a number six so we'll do that again. Okay, here we go, a number six. So we create a number six, and we just hold the top of it with our forefinger and thumb just to control it. The next step is that we are going to wrap the leader through the line like this, and we pull through the main line at the same time. So we're going to wrap it through, and we're gonna do three wraps. Now, depending on the thickness of the line will determine how many times you need to wrap it through. So the thicker the line, the less wraps, the thinner the line, the more. So it could be somewhere between three and seven wraps. So we've done our three there. Now, if you're using braid, you may need to do five to seven wraps and you probably will need to double over the braid as well so that it doesn't actually cut through the monofilament or the uh, fluorocarbon. Um, and also it depends on how thin the line is. So if it's very thin nylon, you might need to do up to seven wraps just to give it traction. So we're holding both ends of the knot here and we're just gonna cinch it up. Now the other thing to think about too, and it's very important, is if you're doing this with nylon or fluorocarbon, you need to wet the knot before you pull it tight. And that's very important because the friction of pulling this knot tight will actually melt the line otherwise and obviously create a lot of weaknesses. So it's very important that you actually wet the knot before you cinch it tight. So now we're just going to pull the knot tight. And there we have a surgeon's knot. So it's very easy to tie as you can see and if this was uh, nylon or fluorocarbon we would just cut off these two pieces here and then we would have our main line joined to our leader and it's that simple. Now I've got a couple of pre-tied pieces of nylon for you so you can see how that works. And we have a very thin or relatively thin piece of leader there on quite a thick main line. And again, something similar here. So you can see that it works very nicely. It's a very strong knot and it's not going to break. And one of the other advantages is that it has quite a low profile, which means that it will run through the rings on your fishing line quite easily or on your fishing rod. Uh, and it's a great all-purpose knot for joining lots of different types of line together. 
I'd like to know what kind of knots you've taught your kids for fishing and which knots have been the most successful. Leave your comments below and if this is your first time to kids fishing then I invite you to subscribe for more kids fishing tips and tricks and to follow our kids fishing adventures. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids Fishing. Kids Fishing.